Welcome back. Let's now shift focus to the financial capital Mumbai and the issue around Mumbai Metro car shed is back in the news. Central government has written to Maharashtra government urging them to reconsider their decision to move the Mumbai Metro car shed from RA to Kajur Marg. In fact, uh, the Bombay High Court to urge both the state and the central government to keep their differences aside and ensure development and progress in people's interest. My colleague uh, Shweta now joins me live on the broadcast. Shweta, the High Court really asking the central government and the, the Maharashtra government to really work together on this. However, the most important thing to note here is that people are who end up being inconvenienced because of the kind of construction work that's going on around Mumbai. And this particular car shed issue is uh, the bone of contention and has been that throughout. Well, absolutely. In fact, that's the conflict when we speak about the Mumbai Metro project and the very controversial car shed. Now, although the fast progress is happening under Mumbai Metro 3, which starts from Kulaba and ends to Seeps, but until there is car shed, the, until there is, uh, uh, you know, commissioning of all these things, this is not possible that people are getting used to metro. And here, very importantly, again, uh, despite High Court uh, ordering and giving directions to both state and centre government, saying that keep your political agenda aside and work towards public interest, work towards development and towards progress, which leads to the public interest. But everything goes in vain. What we find out is despite directions of uh, the Bombay High Court, uh, not only to centre but also to state government to look after whether it's RA colony or at Kanjurma land, everything is stuck in limbo. Now, after what uh, Times Network has accessed the letter given by the centre government to the Maharashtra state, it ensures that the feasibility report which was conducted by the Maharashtra state, centre government is finding it technically incorrect and stating that it is factually incorrect to give the proper land at Kanjur Mark and it will be better if the entire car depot goes to Ari Colony. But again, we have seen the kind of protest which took place. No one can forget that. That is the, in fact, lungs of Mumbai. Ari Colony is so crucial part of the environment, but again, at the same time, we go back to Kanjur Mark land the ownership is the main problem there and the conflict continues state versus center continues and people are the sufferers people continue to suffer as there are development there Absolutely. are infrastructure projects happening but at the same time the ownership conflict uh, ownership conflict is going around and no one has the idea till what the project would be complete and by what time the metro would be in use for people Absolutely. Ishwata, thank you so much for joining me with all those details there. I'm also now joined on the broadcast by Mr. Stalin Dayanand, who is an environmentalist. Mr. Stalin, thank you so much for being with us on the broadcast. Uh, the fact that, you know, my colleague Shweta rightly mentioned, RA Colony is the supposedly the lungs of Mumbai. And we need that. And there has been ample furor uh, that the car shed should not be there. Now, the government in the state has decided to move it, uh, you know, uh, but there is obviously this particular project stuck in limbo. What is uh, the important point here is that they're clearly forgetting and very conveniently that it's the people who are suffering. And the High Court is really very conveniently saying that forget the difference, move on. But what is it that's uh, really being done on ground? Uh, there are two issues here there were, uh, which we need to clarify. Number one, that the metro project, Metro Line 3, is not delayed because of the car shed. The Metro Commissioner himself has come on record saying that even the tunneling stations, a lot of work has been done and the project is already late by two years, irrespective of what happens to the car shed. Number two, the, own, the, the dispute in the Honorable High Court was exclusively on the ownership of the land. That land was supposed to be used for poor metro car sheds. Okay, now suddenly the central government twists the entire argument into technical feasibility. For a moment, let us accept that the central government is much more competent than the state MMRDA, which has built so many metros and which is handling all the metros of which are coming up. Now, they are very, very much more equipped according to the central government. Let us assume, okay, you are great and you are right. Now, what is the answer for the central government for not giving the Kanjurmarg land for the other three metro lines, Metro 4, Metro 14, Metro, uh, metro 6? Why, why, what is the answer for that? The 
what the good thing that came out yesterday was the central government's politics and ego came out in black and white. The ownership is, they have not said a word on it. They are talking of technical feasibility and their obsession with Metro 3 to be located, the Metro 3 car shed to be located inside RA. It is the only place on this planet where you can have a car shed, according to the central government. Now that has been exposed. And I'm very sure mm -hmm. that the state mm -hmm. government has plan B, plan C in place. The central government's mm -hmm. dream of having the car shed in RA will not happen so long as people are awake and alive. Let the central government, uh, uh, central government cannot run away from the fact that the Kanjurmarg land was allotted for Metro 6 by the central government and by the state government under Mr. Padnavis. So when it is suitable for Metro 6, suddenly it became unsuitable for Metro 3. And the dispute, let us again come back to what I was saying, is that it was about ownership. It was never about technical feasibility. Are you telling uh, the viewers or are they telling the people of the city and India that the MMRDA does not know its job? And it is going to put risk, uh, the, the entire transport network mm. at risk. What what kind of absurd it is. And if something goes wrong, right. the state government is the one who is going to get right. the hit. So it is just plain politics and their collusion. In Kanjurmark, they had promised and they were in talks for handing over that land to a real estate developer. Now that is something which they cannot run away from. And whatever I say, I back it up with proof. We have the proof to say that. And this is nothing but mm. real estate right. agents playing the game and trying to stall public projects, not just Metro 3. Central government has stalled Absolutely, four Mr. Metro Dayanand, projects. Absolutely, Mr. Dayanand, those are very important points that you're making and very informed one at that. And the viewers, in fact, uh, will uh, be having ample points to note here and decide really what is happening in this particular case. We're talking about this bone of contention, the Mumbai Metro car shed, which continues to be stalled. Nothing has been done so far. And there is ample tussle that's going on between the Maharashtra government and the government at the center. Mr. Dayanand, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.